It's almost time to begin some brick building. Yo, 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 Graham Gray Jackal Butler. You're watching live. They're looking live at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. No, no, no. Alex Corey's here. Channel 19 is here. The Welsh MG. David Cardiff. Checking in on YouTube. We're doing the multi stream again today. Why? Why? It's just easier for everyone involved. Some like Twitch, some like YouTube. Why not do both? Why not live in a world where we all can get along? One of my delays, old handsaws here. I was trying to find the link to the uh, instructions for today's build. And uh, that site seems to be down. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. Do 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 I got a beanie on. I got dog hair all over my shirt because I was cuddling with a chihuahua. And we are going to take a sip of water and ease into it today. I'm not feeling great. Greetings from Germany. Near midnight there. Red Xavier's here. Thank you, Alex Corey. That is the one. That is the one that we're building. Set seven five one five five. I'm not feeling the best today. Uh, not that kind of not the best that we're all worried about. Headache, eye thing. I got an eye thing going on. Not not the best. So I'm not feeling the best. But we're gonna hang for a bit. We're gonna start this build. This might be the first build where I just intentionally only get halfway through it. Uh, that that's kind of what, what I'm thinking. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, uh, we well, we don't know that, Graham. <laughs> we don't know that right now. No, I'm fine. It's just been a reoccurring pain. Who doesn't like reoccurring pains? Star Wars Alice is here. Now the party can really begin. So yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I finally picked up this book. It's a, it's a fun little book. Pablo, he can get a little snarky sometimes, but good stuff. Good stuff. Check it on out, all right? Check it on out, all right? Facts. Was this a new purchase? Uh, Force Center, we got it for ourselves. We purchased it for ourselves. Skip the stickers. That's good. Steven Escalante is here. Hope they can win next year and year later. Uh, oh, we got we got ourselves a Dodger fan here. Good for you. I, I, I enjoyed the Dodgers winning. Hopefully the Yankees can get back to it next year, but good stuff for the Dodgers. I had fun watching that World Series. I love the baseball postseason this year. All right. That lav mic. One day the lav mic will return. All right. I think we're going to have to get my face off the camera sooner because this is a bit of a, a bigger box. We need a bigger box. All right. Here we go. Lauren Romo's here. That's good. Uh, move that mic out of the way. There we go. Don't mind the glare. That's like I can't even fit. There you go. Thank you, Brian. I hope I feel better, too. It's been a... It's not been, it's been a bit. We're not concerned. You're concerned. I'm not concerned. You're crying. All right. So this is a, this is a nice size set. Ingv is here. Uh, 659 pieces. Which team do I think is the biggest threat to the Chiefs? And I haven't watched football this year, Stephen. Uh, I haven't watched it. So I don't even know what my Dolphins are doing. Here they got some rookie and things are looking okay. 
I get I get my football updates from Mark Ellis and Makuga, who include me on text threads uh, about football games I'm not watching. Do, 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 do. Nice set, says Lauren Romo. Quote Lauren on that. Nice set. Giggity. JD's here. There's always a bigger box. Thanks for those checking in on Twitch. Thanks for those checking in on YouTube or watching later. Uh, Bador is here. I haven't talked to Bador in a while. Bador, how are you? How are you, my faithful Twitch coach? Even though I haven't twitched, haven't twitched in a while. Life has taken me in a different direction. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm okay, Bador. I'm not feeling the best. I've got a headache that's two weeks running. But all right. Wow. I got to keep that box because we are not going to finish this today. That is not the goal. The goal is to start this. That's that's a life lesson for all of you there. A life lesson for all of you there. Sometimes all you need to do is start. All right? That's all you need to do is start. We're not going to worry about tomorrow. We're not going to we're not going to worry about finishing. We're just going to worry about starting today, all right? Life lessons with oh god bless it. Look at that, Risley. Risley. Sarah, look at those stickers. I can't. I may have overshot my mark here today. Peppermint oil. We got some peppermint oil in the house. I use it to scare off spiders. I'll use it on my brain. Thank you for my mic. Plethora of stickers. Plethora. Okay. Bag three, bag four, bag five. We are not going to get to all these bags today. I can just tell you the way I'm feeling. And the, and I, I, I saw this. Hi, pipe. I saw this going um, in the shed. What's going on? I have to go over. Oh, I got to use the hype train. Hype train. I always forget how to see. Uh. Uh, how do I? Uh, why do I always mess the hype train? Why do I mess the hype train every time? I want to hype the train. Oh boy! Did I watch the Dolphin game? No, I don't watch. I don't watch football, friends. I'm sorry. I don't watch football anymore. Uh, I just keep tabs on it from a distance. No reasons. Sha la 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 live for today. Sha la 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 live for today and tomorrow you will finish the Lego sets. All right. A lot of crinkles here today. A lot of crinkles. I should just give up and go straight into ASMR. Why am I not? Why am I not? I'm not I'm not good at it. I like it. Okay. I just can't emotionally deal with these right now. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Gift suds coming in. Nuts and Johnny. Oh, great jackal gifting some subs. Gifting some subs. Oops. Oh, I'm over on my Twitch. <laughs> I'm over on my Twitch uh, stream manager and I just like did something and I can't see anything. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay. All right. Power through, Ken. Let's check in with all of you. Graham, how you feeling? You you've been down and out lately too. How you feel feeling okay? Feeling okay, Graham? Houston. 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 I'm saying okay, I'll learn to say it right. There you go, channel 19. Great insight from channel 19. The stickers, the decals, they're next Sunday's problem. Okay. So here's the story of how we got to this. Here's the story of A to Z. Let me tell you about the U wing. Definitely, uh, that don't clip that out, Bador. Um, 
I went into the shed today and I was like, do I have any sets to build? I'd like to do a brick building today. So this was in the morning. Uh, so uh, when I was feeling a little better and I went in the shed and I do, I do, I, I have, I have the Admiral Radis Y wing and then this one, the U wing. So we've already built a, a Y wing with the Zori bliss Y wing. And I figured, eh, we've already kind of done that. Let's do something good and new. And I love the U wing. The U wing is one of my favorite ships in star Wars. Cause I look for the things that I love in star Wars and then celebrate them. I'm sorry. Um, so I love the U-Wing. And then this U-Wing comes with Jin Erso, Cassian Andor, Rebel Rebel, Rebel Rebel, and Bistan. Bistan. You're right, Bindor. Uh, a lot of you are asking questions about Mando. Hey, Mando. Uh, Mando Season 2, Chapter 9. Uh, we did the full Force Center breakdown and review. I hope you all check that out. Uh, we did... Uh, I Actually, I, again, I hate... I do not review anything. I'm not a reviewer. We over on Force Center discuss what we watched. Uh, so I liked it. My favorite moment might have been Baby Yoda related. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't had a chance to see it yet. Oh, uh, bless God, bless it has dropped a piece. Excuse me. Sha la 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 live for today. Sha la 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 live for today. And I gotta move this back a little bit. Okay. Shady's here. I really hope there was a Rogue One stuff in the new Lego Star Wars video game next spring. It's just Skywalker saga. Uh. Uh, which one is that? Is that the you talking about the Lego one or the E is EA? I know EA is developing another one, and I, I, I didn't know there was an announcement yet or anything. So hit hard, turn left three times. What's up, James? Four center. What time did I go to bed last night? Uh, not too, first. By the way, hello, first right night. Hello, friends. Uh, I went to bed normal time. Uh, we. Uh, We've been kind of running a little ragged around here at the house. Grace has been shooting all week, which has been awesome for her to get back on the set. But I, uh, yeah, I, um, we didn't do much for Halloween. We just watched some uh, ghost adventures. Uh, and then, uh, and then there we go. Crash Steel Wars last week. Uh, good for you, Graham. Good for you. Good for you. Um, Will McLean is unreasonably excited for the Lego holiday special. Is it just me? Will asks, uh, I'll get that question up for the world to see. No, I'm really excited for that Lego holiday holiday, uh, special really am. I'm excited for that. Ah, uh, you are right. Django. Um, Okay, wow, this is a bigger set. I don't, what is the over under, old hand saw? 659 pieces. Good day, my friends. Uh, this, is, this is a lot. This is why I can't build the Death Star here. <laughs> I don't have the space. Uh, I don't have the space. I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm grumpy and complaining today. I can't have that attitude today. That's only going to make me feel worse. We don't want. We don't want to feel worse today. Grumpy Ken Lego. Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go. Just Favre to anything with the Star Wars. I'm excited. Well, Favre is not handling the holiday special. That's there's another director, right? And James Waugh. Okay. Ah, uh, Bazasan was that? Uh, da, da, da. White Out Fifty Two is here. What's up, Zach? What are you gonna do now at the Brewers? Twenty pieces is the over under. All right. So we won't really find that out till we finish this old handsaw, right? All uh, right. Is everything Force Center still making its way to the YouTube channel? No, no. Force Center will never be fully on YouTube, but we we've had been having fun putting the 
putting the news on there. I think we might we might drop some stuff, but we're just we're never gonna go video full time for Four Center. We're never gonna. It takes hours for me to find pictures and edit those in and upload them. And um, so for right now, Four Center's podcast first. Uh, show and tell. We, yeah, it's not done. It's just. Um, it's a workload issue. It just, it's just one more thing that both of us have to do that we just can't get to. I know that sounds really depressing. I know you guys, I, I should be happy. Everyone wants more four center content or they want co content on YouTube. I just, we just can't, we just can't do it. It just, um, we just can't. That's the way, that's the way it's going to be. Oh, look at that. That's Cassian's mug. Cassian's mug. I love that. Yeah, lockdown back in the UK. Good. I mean, we have to, if everyone took it more seriously months ago, we wouldn't still be in there. God bless it. Oh, man. This one went far. Oh boy. I like seeing people's faces when listening to podcasts. Well, but that that's not a podcast. That's a, that's my debate. Is it's not a podcast at that point. It's it's a different kind of show. And Joseph and I just don't want to do that show. It's a good show, but we don't want to do that show. All right. Jen or so. Season two, season two, chapter nine, recap reaction, right? We're not, it's not episode one, it's chapter nine. Hello, friends. Uh, all right, we've got Jen Erso going here. She's got a little poncho. I love ponchos on my Star Wars heroes. What do you all feel about ponchos? Just in general. And then on your Star Wars heroes. Uh, I've watched Chapter 9 three times. What if you do a video but both wear ski masks? Is that still a podcast? Ty, that, that actually is probably a podcast. Mm, ponchos. Cape over poncho. Welsh Pete is not wrong. Daryl Dixon used to rock a mean poncho. You guys are right there with some excellent poncho content. All right. We got two face options for Jen. And we're going to go. We got. Here we, here's what we got for Jen. Uh, we have got. Your options are. Like pursed lips kind of, you know. Concerned, and then, and then I want Jen. That's what I'm doing. That's the Jen or so I want. Fighting for my rebellion. I love the character of Jen or so. I really do. We should celebrate. Kilts are practical, Graham. I, I said I've only really worn a kilt in pro wrestling. I could see the give me a good spore and to hold it down, maybe a fanny pack to hold my wallet. You know, I, I'd be good to go. I'd be good to go. I don't know what my yeah, arg gin for sure is right, Lauren Romo. Arg. It's just a good I just love Jin Erso. Just a great character. Just a great character. And made better by the books. I'll say that. I think I enjoyed Rogue Run the first time, a couple times seeing Jim. But I think once I got Rebel Rising and the novelization, I just really appreciated Jen even more. Uh, so we've got to kind of make a gun here. Let's see. This might not be the energy I have today to, to make a blaster. Castle Arg. Okay. 
but that's all right. I'll do anything for Jin Erso. I would do anything for Jin, but I won't do that. No, oh, no, I won't do. I would do anything for Jin. Anything you think of. I can't remember the lyrics because it's been so long since I've heard that. Okay. Well, that's a good weapon. All right. That's a good weapon. There we go. Am I excited to dive into new Old Republic stuff? Uh, I'm excited about the High Republic more than I was when it was first announced. Um, I am excited. I like uh, a lot of the stuff going on with the villains. That was going to be kind of maybe some of the make or break because I'm not a huge Jedi fan first guy. I, I don't I, I, I don't uh, gravitate towards Jedi stories as much. So um I was has you know I had not hesitant, but just like okay, cool. High Republic sounds fun. Um, but now the villains, a lot of things going on with the Padawans. I'm pretty cool. I am war over lore, as Bador says. And as I've said, she's a brick house. If I'm reading this, I've you've fallen prey to my message highlight powers. That's great, Django. Your powers a weak old man. You guys are the best. Grape Zevia, surprisingly great. This is definitely not right. This is where the conversations get real. Now let's start getting real. Zevia is my my uh, soda drink of choice. My non soda soda. And uh, I don't do the grape Zevia a lot. Look at first of all, this is why I pulled the set. Really, uh, why I pulled it off the shelf today. The mini figs, man. A gin and Cassian mini fig set. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's keep building. Let's keep building on it. Zevia, don't care for it, says Star Wars Alice. We still love you, Star Wars Alice. We've all sinned and fallen short of the, the glory of God, and uh, this just might be your moment, Alice, but it's all right. We're, we're going to get through it. We, we still love you. It's good to have Bador back in chat here. It's good for me to be back on Twitch so Bador can actually show up. Uh, that is uh, that is my fault, but uh, good to have uh, Bador hanging around these parts again. Uh, oh, so Ferris Muthana is here. Look at that. Ferris Muthana is uh, also someone I, I just enjoy all of you here. But uh, yeah, I haven't uh, haven't had had a chance to uh, chat with Bador, the mother of puppies, and. Uh, my Twitch coach, uh, because uh, I haven't been on Twitch. This is <laughs> this is going to be fun trying to build this at a distance from a distance. Okay, let's sing a Bette Midler song. That's what the kids want. I already make I already make old references, which I know I'm aware of. Uh, and you'll find too if you're younger out there if you younger kids you younger kids if you make a lot of references in your comedy you will find that after one point in time you just stop like you don't learn any more references oh well thank you Bador. i will be on uh around five o'clock i will be on the uh red carpet uh movie guys stream for the uh uh, 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 live stream uh, game we're doing tonight, so I'll be on that. If you don't want to watch me over there a little later, uh, I love the movie guys Adam Witt, Paul Preston are really good dudes, really stand up dudes, really like them a lot. I would do anything for Graham, even wear, wear a kilt, but I won't do that. What game? It's not AR filled Fortnite. Talking about? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? No, we're doing a. 
um, a, a, a movie, tri a competitive movie trivia parody. <laughs> Is what I'll say. And it's fun. Am I still playing squadrons? No, I'm not playing squadrons. I finished the story and that was kind of it for me. Silence. Silence. What's up, Peppy? It goes all right. It's going. Okay. Oh, he's not sure if I do this right. You got to figure out how to do this. It's a test of your IQ and a fail every time. Du, 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 du. Uh, Alex Corsa's Star Wars Squadron's story resonated with me deeper than I thought it would. That's good. That's good. I like the story. I like the story. I like the characters. Uh, and the game's fine. I, it's, it's, uh, I just finished it and was like, cool. That was a Tuesday. And um, I haven't touched the game since. Uh, which is sad, you know. I want, I want the, I want to feel more for the games. I, I didn't love Fallen Order, and Squadrons is okay for me. For me, other people, you know, come on. And again, I find what I love. I really love some of the characters um, in Squadrons, and I love seeing Ray Sloan there. So I do love the game, and I can't wait to get back. I'll, I'll pick it up again and start playing a little bit. But um, that was it. That was it for me. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -mm -mm. All right. This is fun. Maybe not for you guys, but it's fun for me hanging out building. Bedor says fallen over or orders over oh, fallen order over squadrons. I mean, here's the nice thing. We all don't have to choose. You can just play with you. I want, but Battlefront 2 is still my favorite. Yeah, I'm with you. Did I see the new Mandalorian child? Yeah, the three and three quarter figure looks really nice there, Johnny. Uh, I think it looks, I think it looks rather nice. I'd like to take one home with me. That is kind of a deep cut Beatles reference. That I think only old hands saw or Graham Gray Jackal Butler will get. I think that's rather grand. Do, do, do. Colt Badu is here. It's good to see some names popping back up. It, it's good. I love that you guys, you know, even if I take a couple weeks off or forget that I have a Twitch page, um, you guys uh, hang out again. It means a lot. It means a lot. Uh, I do like Marin in Fallen Order. I love the characters in Fallen Order. I really do. Um, I don't think I did that right. Okay, there we go. And uh, I like the... Um, uh, I like, yeah, I like all the characters. What am I trying to say? Ken, what did you say? Man, this headache's bad. I think it's bad. Did I play Squadrons VR at all? No, I did not. Just the old PS4. Look, man, I don't know what is going on with this. Got some stuff going on here. Look at this. Hey, look at that. Chris Kiefer's here. Everybody say hello to the best damn librarian in the San Fernando Valley. And then it's... 
wife is the best damn librarian in the uh, in the uh, Ventura County. You heard it here first, kids. Hey, Jay's here. Cheryl's here. Um, Django's got a manga. Says no lie. I had Mando spoiled for me by someone who didn't realize a certain name was of any importance. Oh, that's disappointing. Sorry to hear that. I was surprised um, the amount of um, people going on Twitter right after and tweeting pictures and stuff. It just, it's always, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any, I get it, I get it. And like, I just, you know, stay off social media. It, it's kind of sometimes the answer, but if you haven't seen the episode, but it's just, I don't know. It's just, it always kind of baffles me a little bit. right after like a week after a few days after a little different but the night of like this was my favorite scene like whoa we, what region are you watching this in calm down let us all get a chance <laughs> yeah um okay moving on to the next thing hello friends you guys are doing great you all remember the day that ken Napsuck sat in his office and built legos with you all while he had a massive headache do 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 while he's hummed a meatloaf song Uh, wait to the following Monday to talk spoilers. Yeah, that's fair. To post spoilers. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I'm not, I'm not on, I don't go on social much anyways anymore, so you can spoil away from me. But that's, that's also why I have to watch it at like one in the morning. Uh, I know that suddenly, you know, someone will spoil it. I don't think those are the right size there. I think this is the right size. Hello, friends. Uh, I prefer weekly episodes. I don't like the bingen. I like Benjen Stark, but I don't like bingen shows of this magnitude. Like, sitting down to watch... You know, I don't know, Shit's Creek or something like that. Yes, binge away. I love binging those shows, but like an event event thing. Uh, nope, I like taking my time. Slow roasting. Slow roasting. Sway into the mando. Uh, Sith Lord Vader says, uh, oh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, I did do a little bit of work uh, on the Mandalorian Honest trailer. I uh, got a couple bits in there, a couple bits uh, inspired some other bits, so it was fun. But yeah, I did some research work for them, um, and it was cool. Fun. Benjin Benjin. Uh, yeah, the SNL bit was Joe Stars, but I had put a, some, I, I kind of put some in there that he took and ran with, so it was fun. Teamwork. 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 This Ewing chassis is sexy. Sexy. Sarah Risley says, really enjoyed your collaboration with Dan Merle on A New Hope. When you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, I broke my vow of not going on an SCN show because I love Dan. And um, was honored to be invited, and um, and uh, Dan and I don't talk Star Wars much. Most of the time, when Dan and I hang out, we reminisce about the sandwiches we used to have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Uh, Dan is doing an SCN show. It is uh, all my movies on the SCN network. And good show. Good. I mean, like I said, it's, uh, it was a no-brainer for me to do. I mean, look, Sarah, if I was to launch Sandwich Center, I would you want to listen to Sandwich Center? Amblin Souls, she, she's all on that Sandwich Center stuff. All right. You heard it here, folks. We'll see you on Sandwich Center. From the center of the deli, this is Sandwich Center. Today, we'll be discussing rye bread and why it is a travesty. Sandwiches, so many possibilities. Nick Bascom says, Ken reviewing sandwiches. Not even joking, I'd listen. I'm telling you, one of my uh, uh, why I hate rye, rye bread is horrible. It's It distracts from the sandwich. It doesn't add to the taste. Whatever's in rye bread, those little thingies, those thingies, those fiendish thingies. Hey, a fiendish thingy. Uh -huh. uh, rye bread can die a slow, painful death. As Bran of Tarth said, two quick ones. And a long death. Um, sorry, sorry, rye bread fans. We here at Sandwich Center, we we have hot takes on sandwiches, and rye bread can go to hell, hell, hell. Someone's like, I made you a a a, a black forest ham sandwich, some cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, some mayo. Mm, I'll be there, and, there and I put it on rye bread. I spit on the ground. Like that kind of spit, like that little, like that spit, that, that spit. That's like a, I'm going to shoot you in the streets of our town with a six shooter at dawn. Like that's mean rye bread. <laughs> a Dave Niehaus rye bread and mustard grand salami sandwich. Shady, I appreciate that reference. That's any any uh, late great uh, Mariner announcer is, is a great call for me. Tiger bread for the win. Huh? Sourdough. Yeah, I grew up on sourdough. Uh, Zach says I'm wrong about rye bread. You know what, Zach? You can sit on it, Potsy. Sourdough. I grew up with uh, San Luis sourdough. Um, so it's one of my favorites. We have some sourdough in the house right now. Um, wheat though is my bread of choice. Just a simple old cracked oat wheat bread. All right, Zach, I bet my sandwich will taste better than your sandwich. You know why? Because you have distracting rye on it. Wow. Do you, do you remember that day that Ken lost every one of his viewers? What happened? I, oh, he, he started going off on rye bread and insulted anyone in his stream who liked rye bread. Really? Yeah. Who would have saw that coming? Eh, quite frankly, me. He always seemed like a grumpy a-hole. Yeah, you're right. Patty Mel, I uh, see, I don't do the, uh, Joanna, see, the, you're asking a great question here. What about on a patty melt, or, or you said party melt, which might be a typo, but also might be the uh, best thing uh, I've ever heard. I want a party melt, not a patty melt. Uh, rye is the only one that makes sense. Yeah, I do agree that melts go with rye. I'm not a fan of melts either, and I don't have as controversial as a take on melts, um, but... I don't, I don't, I like cold sandwiches. Like when I uh, am at a Subway or a Jersey Mike's or a Quiznos or whatever's, uh, and they're like, do you want it toasted? I'm like, God, no, no, God, no. Uh, I have had that, Scott. I have had the pastrami and rye at the Brent's Deli Northridge. 
And I don't like it. The Sandwich Bros, Sarah's Ray. You thought Star Wars fans were toxic? Watch out for the Sandwich Bros. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't even want to do a parody version of the show. Like, I don't want to make that show because it's a joke. I want to make it. I want to, I want to have that show going. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, that's funny. They're making fun of like movie fights, but it's sandwich fights. Uh, no, no. I want like sandwich wars. Today, Zach Anderson defends rye bread. Against TV adjacent Ken Napsack. Get into eating history, folks. Uh, yeah, no. Um, okay, this is the U wing. We're building this slowly. I've I, my headache slightly better. Um, but problem is shady. Um, uh, problem is shady that. Uh, all my streams, we end up talking about food, and we um, we make every each other hungry here on the stream. Uh, I would uh, would like to see you on season two of Josh Kitchen. Um, uh, actually, Josh just text me right now. Uh, there is no season two, unfortunately. So not for now. Hold on, I'll text Josh some business. Work text. Work text. Sorry, everybody. What did you watch Ken's stream yesterday? He yelled at this guy from Wisconsin. Um And then, then he texts Josh McCuga some work stuff that he wouldn't share with anybody. Okay, sandwich fights, make it happen. Thank you, Amplin Soul. Thank you for. All right, we're back. We're back, everybody. Uh, Josh is very aware the Steelers are seven and zero. I can conf I, I can confirm that with you. Uh, brick it does no Sith Lord, right? It, brick building really is just an excuse for me because I've either just eaten lunch, which is today's the case, or uh, I'm about to eat like dinner and I get hungry. Uh, that's usually what happens. And uh, today is no different. Today is no different. Mm. Ask me what I had for lunch today. Ask me. Ask me. What did I ask me what I had for lunch today? All right, I'll tell you. Buffalo chicken sandwich with Frenchies. All vegan. Fake chicken. Couldn't tell the difference. Could not tell the difference. It was delicious. Grace treated me for lunch. I didn't deserve it, She, but she decided to. Um, Whiteout 52 is waiting on the frozen pizza. That's good. Cauliflower crust, Whiteout 52. Cauliflower crust. Have you made that transition yet? Give it a go. I'll try another rye bread sandwich. I'll try another rye bread sandwich, Zach, on camera. If you try a cauliflower crust pizza on camera. I don't, Bador, I don't deserve nothing. I don't deserve nothing. I've killed and I'll kill, I'll kill again. Oh, look at that. Nick, Nick Bascom checking in with a schmoville. Let's do the Alicia Malone schmoville. 
Thank you for the super chat. I think that's my fourth super chat in the history of my life. Not counting afternoons once, which is a brand. That's a brand. That's a different thing. Uh, David Taylor's here. Look at this. Hi, Ken. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday. I'm having an okay Sunday. It's made better by all of you. Um, enjoyed SNN Mando discussion and Spotlight Star Wars this weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Doom Cause 12. I like saying 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven. Slow dancing, swaying to the music. If you give rye bread another shot, I'll try the cauliflower crust pizza. Uh, okay, sure. So this is what we'll do, uh, Zach. I will um, get a rye bread sandwich next month for my Patreon-only show. I'll do it on video. But you have to send in um, you have to send in uh, you having a frozen pizza with cauliflower crust. When I see confirmation of that, then I'll then I'll do it. Hey, Robbie Misan says from Four Center to Castle Talk, you've taken over my weekend. Just got yourself a new listener, my friend. You know what, Robbie? Let me tell you something, Robbie. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring your qu quote up here. You got your Yoda. You got Yoda. I, I appreciate that. Let me tell you something. You're good. You're good people. I don't even know you, but you're good people. Not just because you like my stuff, but because you take the time to say something nice. And I don't think we all get a chance to get nice things said to us, unless Bedore's yelling at you. I'm not sure I just put that piece on right. I need old handsaw. I don't need old handsaw in chat. I need old handsaw here. That's the ultimate goal. Brick building with Ken with old handsaw in the corner going, uh, no, uh, that was wrong. Uh, nope, that was wrong. Or if I could afford to fly Graham Greyjackal Butler over from uh, Scotland town, I definitely uh, have him in the corner too, but he'd, he'd probably just waste the opportunity drinking and um, trying to fight me over sandwiches. So you seem to, we seem to be more in agreement on sandwiches than that dastardly Zach Anderson out in Wisconsin. Anyone else in love with Mando's gloves? Yeah, I like a good pair of gloves. Underrated. I mean, I can't get you over, Graham. There's just no way. You've seen those shipping costs on uh, T Public. Scott Glick asks a question here. It's going to come up. What is the best sandwich spot in the Central Coast area? Scott, the best option. So I haven't lived there, obviously, in 23 years now, but I head up there yearly. This year, I haven't, actually. I have not. Let me. For, I, I have not set foot in Central Coast soil this year. That's uh, be the first year uh, since uh, I moved in 1998 that I would never not have been in my hometown. Um, Aaron, the author, is um, – you're right, yeah – you're good. Uh, I, no, no, nay, no, rai, mo. What is that, Aaron? And then I'm coming back to Scott's question. Nay, no. I, I know you've been doing some writing competition stuff, right? Uh, you, you've been. Uh, so is that what is that? Nay, no, rai, mo. Sounds like a curse. Um, do I like Hallmark Christmas movies? You know, JD, I'll take them. I'll be all right. So Sarah Risley said this, Scott, uh, High Street Deli. So I've never been to High Street Deli. But back in the day, back in the day, and I'm talking in the mid '90s, there was two locations, two locations to better serve you. 
but there was one in downtown slow that is now some other kind of restaurant oh what is it i go there a lot grace actually had dinner there we went to dinner there uh when i was in town for your event uh sarah uh the night before um chris has got it um uh, it was called kona cafe k-o-n-a it was a sandwich shop uh two locations the one in downtown slow back in the day um was i mean i can't describe the sandwiches i can't describe them national novel writing month okay okay i like that everyone wish aaron the best of luck and all the positive energy in her quest to write 50,000 words in 30 days. That's insane. That's insane. I wrote 100,000 plus words in six months and I about jumped off a bridge. So anyways, old handsaw. Where are you? Uh, d d d is High Street Deli in Slow? I've been there once. Before. Yeah, High Street Deli is in uh, San Luis Obispo. And Kona Cafe was as well. And it was, I just can't describe it. I'm saying this with love. Like love and passion is in my, my, my mind and my voice and my heart for the sandwiches that they made at Kona Cafe. They were this big if they were a day. Like they were the bread and the, the choices and then the, the ample, ample meat. Ample. I'm using the word ample to describe the meat choices. And I would, I would find contentment in life. And this was very, very, you know, I was young. I was just, you know, in college, uh, getting ready to move to LA. I was very scared, not sure where my life was going. But when I had a Kona ca a Cafe uh, sandwich, I think I ordered the number seven. It was like a ham-based one. I like ham on my sandwiches. I felt content with life. I felt content. And then it went away. They went out of business. One of the locations was gone, and then, and then it became something else. Oh, that doesn't go on yet. you can do it aaron you can do it what do you got to average daily last year you did eighty two thousand words god bless you god bless you aaron parisian you canadian uh, uh, chanteuse that's more of a singer i was trying to think of what the author version of that would be what is oh picked up the wrong thing it's not the quantity of the meat it's the quality uh are we talking about what grace is filming yet uh nope i cannot i would get in trouble okay Look, I'll tell you what, when you break it down like that, Aaron, it's possible. Like, it seems possible. So, I know you can do it. I'm talking about myself. Like, okay, 1,667 words a day on average. Because some days you're going to hit that vein. You're going to just write, write, write. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I did 3,000 words today. Yippee skippy. Uh, but the next day, 200. And then you're like, ah. And then on the fourth day, and you cry, and you're, like, screaming into your pillow, I am a horrible human, and uh, that's the process of writing a book. For anyone interested who hasn't tried it. The amount of times I thought while writing uh, uh, Why We Love Star Wars, I am a horrible human who deserves nothing and should give up the writing of this book to someone more qualified. Um Was it happened daily? Like that's what you gotta understand. It happened daily. Oh, look at that. Mark Donick is here. Mark Donick is here, everybody. Everyone say hi to Mike Mark Donica. 
the uh, only player in the Schmodown I enjoyed managing, Mark Donica, right there. I miss you too, Marky Mark. Hello, friends. Uh, how's things, you know, private conversation on, on a public forum, but how you doing, Mark? You doing all right? We still out there? We're still out there We're waiting for Vinnie Mac to open up the doors for you again. What are we doing? What's going on? Okay. Okay. How's Catsy? You talk to Catsy, Mark? How's GQ, GQ money doing? Star Wars' Alice's dad wrote statistical methods textbooks. I used to proofread them. For, oh, my gosh. That would give me a brain freeze. Not in a good ice cream way. This is a, the U-Wing. is a, This is the unsexy part of the build. Let's be honest here as we do this here. That's great. Katz is a certifiable wrestling genius in my mind. And one of the best promos ever. Ever. Sorry, guys. Just having a... Mark Donick and I are having a catch-up conversation. All right? All right. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Mark Donica. Good dude. Good dude. I miss him. Seriously, I, I, I don't have, and this isn't shade on anyone else in the Schmodown that I managed, but Mark is the only one I felt like I managed for real. And he's the only one that understood what I was doing because I understood what he was doing. And I was happy for him when he, when he won. I was happy for him when he made the decision that was right for him to, to not compete. Um, it just was fun to work with him. Um, Above all. So that's what that's that's why uh among many reasons I hold Mark Donica. You uh you, you podcasting Mark? Should you drop a link? You guys doing the, the party too? Look at that. Look at that. Again, this is not the sexy part of the build today, but we're building a strong chassis. It's only taken me an hour to get through the first bag. <laughs> uh, Mark Donica uh, has a great podcast, everybody. If you're a theme park enthusiast, uh, and I am, I love, I'm not like a overall, I'm a Disneyland nut. I don't think people realize it about me. I love going to the Magic Kingdom uh, down in Anaheim. I've only really been to the Florida one once during Star Wars Celebration. Um, but uh, Mark and his wife have a great podcast called Party of Two. Mark, drop your links. Everyone, follow that podcast. Okay. Steven. Oh, Steven, you asked earlier, what is my all-time favorite wrestler? What is my all-time favorite wrestler? It is uh, it's a combination. Davey Boy Smith was like my favorite wrestler. Rowdy uh, Piper, there's Mark's link. Let's uh, highlight that. Uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper is like my favorite like personality. Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, kind of like my favorite wrestlers in terms of just modern work rate back in the day. And like current day, like I I I I don't watch as much right now, but I still love Kevin Owens. Kevin Steen back in the day. I, I really love uh, Kevin Owens. And I think uh, uh, Becky Lynch is one of the last ones right now to just organically find her voice and her audience and just take over in a, in a way that we hadn't seen in a while. Daniel Bryan before her, and I enjoy watching him work too. Um, but I love it. I do love the art of wrestling. 
Let's be biased. But NXT is consistent, great TV. Ah, that just, that just sounds like bias. That just sounds like just sounds like you're being biased, Mark. But you're probably not wrong. I was always a Raw over SmackDown guy, but uh, I like it all. I just like I I, I want wrestling uh, to succeed. I haven't been watching AEW. Uh, I love Frankie Kazarian. Friends with Frankie. Always root for Frankie. Um, Scorpio Sky used to wrestle for us. Um, back in the day, and Christopher Daniels did too. And and Frankie wrestled for us back in the day too. So that's what I like. I like what they're doing. But I haven't. I haven't been keeping up with AEW. I just haven't been keeping up with. Uh, I haven't been keeping up with wrestling. Yeah, see, Mark, how close is the AEW crowd? How close is it to the PWG crowd? Because I was, I'm, I'm, I, I, that's not my style. It's not my style. So, what WWE wrestler, WWE wrestler would make the best live action Darth Bane? I mean, I think you'd still have to go to. Uh, I think you'd still have to go to Dave Batista. Which is interesting. I, I I was not a huge Dave Dave Batista mark back back in the day. I, I I was, and when he started getting into acting, I was like, Batista, really? But I got to I got to give that guy credit. He is dug in and worked on it, and is really good. I loved him. Blade Runner twenty forty nine. That's when I was like, he's he's an actor, he's an actor. Uh, and so, so I love that. Uh, Sarah Risley, what did you? Sarah asked a big question here. What is your favorite part of Disneyland? The rides, the environment, the nostalgia. I love the in-park universe, theming design, music, and even the patent smells they pump into different areas. Uh, yeah, I think it is that. Um, Dave Bautista is a... Well, <laughs> yes, he he is. Yes. I'll just... Yes. Maybe now. <laughs> no comment. Um, but to Sarah's, uh, question, uh, yeah, I like I like Disneyland over the other, like, I'm not a Magic Martin, Magic Martin, Magic Mar Mountain guy, um, that type of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, it's, 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 I get caught up in what Disneyland is selling, which is the happiest place on earth. Come on into our world. You won't even see aeroplanes flying overhead. You nothing. Just come on in. It's ours. And that was even before Galaxy's Edge, which I think they've done even better with that. So, um, that's what I like. So that's what I like, Sarah. Sarah. Uh, it is, and it is kind of uh, nostalgia. It's it's built on its own kind of nostalgia for Walt Disney's yesteryear, right? Oh no, we got this stuck. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh man i don't think this brick thing can get this one off here giggity there we go it did ah oh, there we go all right we gotta flip that around and reverse it flip it and reverse it Do I think Sasha Banks is going to do well in Mando? Yeah, I don't think it'll be a big, whatever it is, I don't think it'll be big. It was a surprise casting, but I, don't, I really want to know how that came about. Um, yeah. Ken Dog. I want now. I want a hot dog. Uh, getting PS Five in a few weeks. Uh, no, I'll be uh, hope. Hopefully, I'll be able to buy groceries for myself in a few weeks. Uh, really hoping that happens. Um, so PS Five is going to have to wait a bit. Lockdown blues. What comes standard on? Uh, what comes standard on a Ken dog? Um, Pretty simple. My hot dogs are pretty simple. I do like some onions, some red onions. Ketchup, mustard, relish. Occasionally, I'll put some barbecue sauce on a hot dog. I'll do that. I'll do that. 
Um, cheddar cheese. I'll, I'll do a lot of cheddar cheese too. Weird food talk today. I love it. Um, do I believe in magic? Asks. Hey, Tag. Um, do I believe in magic in a young girl's heart? The music can sway her. Uh, no. But do I believe in miracles? Yes. Will I ever go back to the groundlings? I cannot go back to the groundlings. I was voted out of the groundlings. Once you're done, you're done. Uh, Lauren Rome eats a hot dog with no toppings. I, I, I think I've said this before in other places. I do that at Dodger Stadium. Um, first rate Nate loves chili and cheese with jalapeno and a bacon wrap hot dog. Good luck in the bathroom, first rate Nate. Um, Brett and Mars here. But yeah, if I'm at Dodger Stadium and it's a line, I don't worry about toppings. I grab my Dodger dog and I get back to my effing seat and I eat it. No toppings needed. No, who needs toppings? Aha. Thought I lost a piece for a second. How many times have I said that, old hand song? I thought I lost it. Oh, there it is. I thought I lost... Oh, whoop, nope, right there. Uh, Donica says... Uh, uh, Donica says, the fact that gas stations don't have Dodger dogs here, despite it being completely understood. Oh, yeah, I, I'd like it. I'd like that. I had got a gas station Dodger dog. Uh, Slurpy Frapp says, yes, yeah, sadly, when Andrew Savage was on Andy Richter's podcast, she said peeps kept getting cut and cut and cut. Yeah, it's just it's how the system's going. Yeah, a Andrea, I knew Andrea. I used to do stand up with Andrea back in the day, and she was before just before my time at the Groundlings. Um, it's just the way the system's it's a school, it's a training ground. You move, you move through it. You're, you either move up or you move out. And I kept moving up, and I keep kept moving up until uh, they moved me out. But it was a long time ago, twenty years. So who knows? Maybe they forgot I was there. Uh, Miss Movie says, "Do I sort them by color? Are you talking about hot dogs? Are you talking about hot dogs? Um, no, you talking about Legos? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't do that. I bet." Uh, I bet if Grace was building Legos, she'd sort sort them by color. I don't have that in me. I I'm chaos. Chaos is a ladder. Chaos is a way to build Legos. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that goes there. That's I, I I'm convinced I've done something wrong. But we'll see how it goes. What is that, Django? Fun fact. The art of sorting your pieces carefully before building is known as knolling. Well, that sounds kinky. Uh, old handsaw. I trust I trust the way old handsaw builds. Uh, but I just I just don't think I could do that as well as him to taking the time to sort just the way I am just the way I am I like you just the way you are we're almost done with bag one and then we'll see we'll see I do have to do this uh, I have to I'm honored and blessed to do the movie guys uh, red carpet stream here at five ish so I gotta have some time to get ready for that. But I think we'll see. Let's see where we get how I feel. The headache is slightly better. What a weird what? You just it is coming out neat, slurpy frap. Hello, friends. Uh yeah. So hopefully, hopefully next week I'll have more energy. 
See you, Alex. See you. Thank you for your support uh, here on Force Center and the Discord. You who are our stand up chap. I could finish the build on their stream called a crossover. That's true. Who knows? I might even do it midweek. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Wow. Well, why? That's interesting. Modern Legos do this a lot where the, you put the little thing like these aren't click, clicked in. They're just here. And then like you add a piece to click it down. I don't understand that. Oh, and I did something wrong. See, I knew I, I knew today. Just something a little off. Look at that brick separator action there, old handsaw. Look at that. Okay. I swear in my life, something is off. Something is off. Something. Ah, we fixed it. <laughs> we fixed it. Hello, friends. Geek with a side of nerd is here. Love the live Riley's Cantina. It was a lot of fun. We'd love to do more of those kind of things. And saw to the rescue. I'm I'm getting better with that separator, huh? Huh? I'm getting better with it. Okay. Look at this. Your skills are weak, old man. Okay. Yeah, look at this beautiful stuff going on here. I now have, yeah, I have, I think I have coming up on 10 separators now you gotta keep them separated uh, hey hallmark christmas movie is pretty terrible which one you watching aaron the other day i'll tell you what i did the other day i was doing some game of thrones research and i ended up Stumbling onto Amelia Clark singing uh, Last Christmas for that movie Last Christmas on YouTube. And I was like, ah, I'll just, you know, she's adorable. I'll watch this. And now that's, that song got stuck in my head for like a week straight. So what do you do with this? Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Very next day, you gave it away. This year. To keep me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Stuck in my head. Every day for like seven days. <clears throat> That's what I heard, Aaron. I'm curious. Color Jerry is here. Uh, I don't know if you talked about this, but you think about Handler Season 2. Uh, all my thoughts of that are on uh, Force Center's uh, review discussion of it. Don't want to spoil too much here. I overall enjoyed it. Some of the acting in the show drives me a little crazy and always has, but uh, I'm not held up on it. I still enjoyed it. So I enjoyed it. There you go. There's your answer. Hello, friends. I enjoyed it. Uh, link, uh, just go to Force Center. Force Center. Unless someone can drop the link in. I can't get to the link right now. Oh, wait. I think I have a link tree up. Hold on. Hold on, Color Jerry. I have a link tree up. I just saw that here. I have the Force Center one up. How convenient. Star Drew. What's up, Star Drew? Okay. We're looking like we got ourselves a Y Wing, kids. Excuse me. U Wing. I know which one I'm talking about. I watch War Stars. Uh, 
Color Jerry, thank you. All right, that is uh, that is it for bag one. We got some extras. Bag one reminds me of Hermione Bagua, one of the waitresses at Dexter's Diner. All right, 20. We're looking at 20 overall. One bag in, and we are at too many. And we got an extra blaster. I'm going to give that to Cassian right now. All right, we didn't touch the decals. We didn't do that. Houston, Johnny. Houston, Johnny. I like that. Houston, Johnny. I'm going to say it right, Johnny. Johnny. Angry Johnny. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tonight. All right. So let's look at bag two. Just let's just look at bag two. Uh, uh, I don't have it in me today. Uh, have I seen Jenny? Nick? Oh, I don't. I don't watch her anymore. Oh, that's not for me. Okay. Uh, do, do. Jedi Germs is here. Yeah, so I'll tell you what. Here we're going to do. We're going to bring up the camera here. Bag two, part two. We're going to go back to my face cam. And uh, we'll hang out. We'll do a couple. Uh, we'll do a couple. We'll do some Q&A. Some Q&A. Not that we haven't been Q&A and A-ing the entire time. As we look ahead to bag two. I mean, the bag two seems pretty simple, but. I just I've done the three hour Lego build streams and my back hurts. That's how how old am I? My back hurts after extensive Lego building. So we've got the chassis built. Oh, thanks, Miss Movies. Um, didn't have to touch the decals. We got the beanie on Slurpy Frap. I mean, it's a good. That's that's you know. It looks like this look a little like a Battlestar Galactica ship. Um, I'm a weird boy. Uh, Sarah Risley says, um, "Bag two does sound like a Star Wars planet." So, what's my favorite SNN sketch to write versus perform? It's a good question. Uh, my favorite to write is Mort Rooney. It's my favorite to write. My favorite to perform might be Dr. Lancaster. But right now, the 911 calls are my are my favorite. It changes. My 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 interest on that show changed. You can kind of tell. Uh where um there's a week where it's just like a bunch of phone calls. Uh, so I like that. Um, see you, Miss Movies. Goodbye. Lauren Roma asked, what's cooking this week for you? We got some pasta. Uh, though I have to inform Grace of the bad news that she accidentally dipped into my pasta sauce, thinking it was some sauce for the whole house. It was mine because uh, uh, I use those with egg noodles, and she's completely vegan and can't have the egg noodles. So we're going to have well, – we'll fight over that. Uh, we got that. What else do I got this week? Salads. I'm doing a lot of salads. Kenny's got to drop some uh, lbs again. He's getting to Favreau territory, so we're gonna we're gonna drop it down a little bit. Uh, I got some cool salads I've been making. Um, that that's that's kind of a it's kind of a simple week, Lauren. I don't know if at the end of the week am I gonna need to be in a bunker uh, while war breaks out. Is my what I'm wondering if the end of this coming week. So I, I we'll, we got some microwave burritos coming too. Do I think everything Disney would do an actual do actually do a show about someone like Darth Bane? Seems a little too edgy for the vibe they're creating. Disney Plus and Baby Yoda. Eh, I think they were going. They are going to do Old Republic. I I know that for. I just know that. Um. So the High Republic came. That's different, and that was that's been in works for years. But um. Um. Yeah. I I I think it would be, it wouldn't be just Darth Bane, but it would be part of something bigger. But I don't know. I don't know now. I think they're going to see 
these next couple of shows left. They got something great with Mandalorian, so they're going to run with that. Uh, doo -doo. uh, Nick says, uh, what would my, what would my, my, uh, light favorite color, what would my lightsaber color be? Green, 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 green. Uh, do I think about having actors with deep fake, uh, young Luke Mandalorian? Uh, I don't, I don't want that. Um, I don't want that at all. Um, but, uh, I wouldn't mind a mention of Luke and Mandalorian. At this point, to me, if you're going to if you're going to introduce Luke Le or anyone um, into Mandalorian, I'd want it just to uh, be recast. Pink, you can have a pink lightsaber. Uh, green, green, yeah, green is mine. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, Nick, it's it's with you too. Like I loved the blue lightsaber, but the green lightsaber in Return of Jedi, like that was like that was great. Uh, Jetta Germs, uh, we've got a fantastic new book called The Lightsaber Collection. Very interesting. Yeah, that is actually on the way. I'm supposed to get that this week, I think. Um, so maybe it's a it's a bigger book, right? So maybe I can use it as a shield should any sword fights break out in the street. So, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, like I said, we just picked up the Joseph and I each got the Star Wars little fact book from Pablo Hidalgo. Uh, so that was, and I liked it. It was pretty good. It's just, it's a, just a flip, flip book. Kind of do you, John Mariano's here. Oh, Mariano, Mariano. Uh, I need to get you Makuga's contact information or vice versa. All right. It's all right. Gotcha. I was, I literally was like, I got to sign off and go to discord and write John. Uh, but you're here now, Johnny. Uh, Johnny asks, do you think we have a shot at Lobot in the Mandalorian? If so, what do you think he's doing right now? I don't think we have a shot of at Lobot now, um, but I think by season four, chapter six, my prediction is season four, chapter six, it's called Catching Up with Lobot, and it's just Mando sitting down having dinner with Lobot. Mando never takes his mask off, but, but actually by then he'll take his mask off, and he'll take it off for, for Lobot. And I think Lobot right now is just waiting. Who's your favorite clone, says Toby. Uh, mine is Captain Rex. Captain Rex. There's a lot of great clones. There's a lot of great clones, right? Fives. And I like Heavy. I like Rex. I it, it I don't think, for me, the answer doesn't need to go beyond it. There's a lot of wonderful other choices for clones. I, Rex is great. Rex is show only. Wasn't in Attack of the Clones. Wasn't in Revenge of the Sith. Uh, emerges in this show and just becomes a great character. And, and I, I really like it. Uh, more to tell with the tree in Dagobah. I think I think you could. I think you could tell more than that tree. Uh, oh yeah, we're getting that too. Some point. Uh, Graham says another chapter names. Uh, he's right. My dinner with Lobot. Uh, Aaron, the author says, I guess you should watch the Mandalorian. I know I keep saying this, but honestly, I need to be like forty eight hours. That I, you know what? Number one, Aaron. Uh. You should do. You should watch Mandalorian. Two, I know what you mean. I can't watch it. I just can't watch anything else. It's just I just don't have time. We all don't have time. Who is Bolivaras? Who's your favorite Sith? Mine's Star Killer. Uh, my favorite Sith would be Palpatine. Palpatine. Uh, do I think there ever will be a point where Din takes his helmet off and as a helmetless episode or season? Uh, I think I think I think we could get to that. I, I think they've got to kind of answer that. Um, that there's different ways to look at it. And uh someone like Bo Katan had no problem taking the, the helmet off in front of other people. Um Sabine Wren, all that kind of stuff. I think but I know I'm looking forward to that answer. Graham says Bane for the I just I read the one of the Bane novels and that, that was it. So he seemed it was it was I liked it. I liked the start of it. I liked that first book, and then new, all the new books came out. Uh, Vermont Mike says, "Quick plug for Lauren's Galactic Podcast and Bedore's Holocron Show." Uh, there you go. Drop some links, my friends. Drop some links. Don't be shy about dropping links if you're a friend of the show. 
Jedi germs. Have I played squadrons yet? We talked about it a little bit uh, later on, um, or a little bit er later early on. Well, I can't talk. To My head hurts so bad. Uh, yes, we talked about it earlier. I did. I did play it. Uh, played the story and liked it, and then haven't touched the game since. I uh, didn't. I didn't dislike it. I just went like, "Cool, done. I'll play. I'll play that tomorrow." Didn't touch it. Uh, do I? Still think the dark saber belongs to Bo-Katan if we see her later on. I think she's going to want to try to get it back, but it does not belong to her. It belongs to Moff Gideon, and that's kind of how the dark saber works. Uh, who has it and who earns it? Sometimes two different things. And we see what the dark saber does to every character. It changes them. It is different uh, every time. So uh, what they want to do with it, it can conquer. It can unite. It it can divide. It can inspire, and 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 whoever wields it wants to do different things with it. So that's kind of who, um, who owns it, right? Who really owns it? So Bo-Katan might spiritually still own it, but Gideon definitely. Uh, a couple more questions. Uh, Stardew says, "Damn, Miss Ken playing the story uh, Squadrons game." Um, yeah, I mean here on I didn't I didn't stream it at all. I did I played it over that first weekend. It's a pretty quick story, and then that was it. Uh Chris Chris is checking out. Hey everyone, say goodbye. Good, good say goodbye to my good friend Chris. Chris heading out for a bike ride. All right, Chris, you and Creed will be safe. What do we think about Mandalorian being a Creed? Um, it's yeah, it's fine. It's not something I know that was more legends and I like the Clone Wars version of being a Mandalorian. Uh, but I also like what they're doing with that and found families important in star Wars. And again, I think, I think we're going to find how the different views on that collide or come together. Shady asks a very important question on a scale of one to 10. How good are the sandwiches deck served in his diner? Like a nine and a half. It, the problem was some of the sandwiches a little soggy. It, you know, uh, half a boar meat doesn't, uh, it, it, it goes soggy fast. So I would stay away from that. You go with a, a shack slice, a nice, uh, sh uh, a shack rump, uh, sandwich keeps a little faster, but, but on that, you know, almost a 10, you got it color, Jerry. Uh, do, do. Ooh, Uncle Mark Ellis is texting me. Uh, all right, a couple more minutes here. Uh, and then uh, next week, uh, Lord willing, uh, I'll be back doing this. They got a Ken dog at Dexter's Diner? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I'm trying to get it on the menu. You got to be a little, you got to be famous to get it on the menu at Dexter's Diner. Uh, it's like the Larry David sandwich. Uh, you know, mine will probably have capers on it too. So. So that'll be that. Uh, make it another U wing. Uh, we'll finish. Yeah, we'll finish it next week. We'll finish the U wing uh, next week. What's up, Sky Walker? Sky Pilot, old hand saw. Huh? Remember that one? Remember that one? Uh, are we ever going to find out what happened to Quinn Lynn Voss? <sighs> yeah, I think so. I think so. I, I'd like that. I'd be on board. I, I like Quinlan Boss. Good Jedi. I like Dark Disciple. Um, any hidden talents like art? No. No, pretty much what you see is what you get. I've been talking into microphones since I was three. So I'm halfway competent there. I can I can write when I'm not bored of it. <sighs> I've told a couple jokes funny on stage. Uh, I used to write some song lyrics. Um, they weren't good. I can't run fast. I uh, I can eat chips and salsa in a, in a, in a, at a rate not previously uh, heard of by most humans. Uh, yeah, that's so that's about it. That's about it. Uh, does Ventures have an end story? Yes, Shady. Uh, the book Dark Disciple. I uh, don't think we'll get Kyle Katan in Disney era. God, I hope not. Um, 
him and uh, what's the Dash Rendar? God, the war, two of the worst things in the world. What about Mara Jade? Uh, Mara Jade's fine. I, it's not. She's not my favorite either. Do, do, do I remember any of the lyrics you wrote? I have all the lyrics I wrote. I wrote like 400 songs. They're out in my shed. Two are okay. Two are okay. I had one turned into a song. Still reading the Star Wars comics? I've just caught up. I just did the Spotlight Star Wars this week. I just caught up with the Star Wars comics. Uh, I hadn't gone to the shop because of the lockdown in a while. Um, and they're good. They're good. I, I don't think Greg uh, Greg Pack is as good as a, a writer as Charles Soule. So the Vader stuff is is good for me. The Charles Soule Vader stuff was was good plus to great. And uh, this is uh, this is good. This is good stuff. I think there's there's not a depth. To, there's the depth uh, that they think is there is not as as there as they think. So, but I've caught up and I enjoy them. And the soul, that new villain, the Zahara or whatever, seems she seems pretty cool. And she reminded me of Mara Jade in a, in a way, non Jedi version, kind of that backstory, uh, similar vibe. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing this um, for Ke uh, Kevin Smets. Is that right? See, I'm not super familiar with his work outside of Star Wars stuff. And it's good. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's good. I just think there's some, like, he's staring at a picture from his past. And you're supposed to be like, ooh, deep introspective Vader. But it's not really there in the story. Whereas Charles Soule, you got a little bit more. But it's fine. I'm enjoying it. So, yeah, answer your question. Finally catching up. I do enjoy the Star Wars comics. They are they are um, their own thing at times for me. But, but, the, but they're good. So. All right, I think I do have to get ready for that stream. You guys are all the best. Thank you for watching in all the places you're watching, whether it's on YouTube, Twitch, um, both are viable. I like having the options for y'all, and uh, it means a lot. So we'll do this. So we'll finish up next Sunday. We'll finish this up. Though I do have, there's a lot of bags left. Woo, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Oh, thank you, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome, man. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, good night, Bador. Good night. Uh, that oh, I tie. I love that Vader crush in the ship window. Thinking about Luke. About yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. Um, Slurpy Frap. Can't wait for the next bag. Can't we all? Can't we all? All right. We're out of here, everybody. Bye bye.